What's up you guys, it's Herby Derpy. Today I am back for a live narration battle. I just got back from vacation and my throat's a little bit sore because I'm a little sick, but I'm just gonna do a live narration anyways. So this is my NU team for the PO's like NU Underachiever Challenge or something like that. And it's actually a team revolving around Shedinja, which is really cool. And I'm gonna hopefully uh, get to 1250 ranking, which is the ranking you need to beat the challenge. So I'm almost there. Don't rush me, asshole. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you can see my opponent's team. Uh, let me bring it up once again. Uh, you can see it's got Golem, Golurk, Sock, uh, Stantler, Executor, and Electros. And this is actually, like, I know for a fact the Stantler's got Sap Super because I see the Golem, I see the Golurk, who are just, just like, begging to use grass moves. So, Marzelia is definitely a really good uh, Pokemon to beat that out. But... Uh, I'm just gonna lead off probably with my Roselia because I really am scared of him leading off with the Golem and I think Roselia is a really good, good Pokemon to scare off the Golem. I'm pretty sure he's gonna ex expect me to go for a Giga Drain or something like that. So I'm just, go again, I'm just gonna go ahead and set up a layer of spikes. Yeah, he decides to go for Giga Drain immediately. So I get a free layer of spikes up which is really nice. Um, I guess since the Stantler is pretty offensive because I, you saw my Stantler. My Stantler is Choice Banded. So I'm gonna go into my Armaldo. Yeah. So this Stantler tried to do some damage to me, but I'm going to switch out. And I'm going to go for the Toxic on the switch. And, man, this Stantler's staying in. And why is he staying in? He can't do anything to my Armaldo. My Armaldo is very, very tanky uh, because I'm running max HP, max defense. So that's great. So I'm going to go for a Toxic on this Golem because that's really the only way he can damage this thing. I'm just going to try to spin away the rocks because I really just need to make sure there are no rocks on my side of the field. And uh, Rock Blast is going to do a really nice chunk. I'm going to die to this next Rock Blast, which is really, really annoying. So <coughs> that's really the biggest flaw with my team. I just can't deal with Golems at all. Golem is like the one Pokemon my team just cannot handle because I, oh god, I'm not sure if I should stay in or not because I'm afraid he's going to set up uh, another, uh, I'm afraid he's gonna go for another Stealth Rocks, stuff like that, and I cannot have Stealth Rocks on the field or else Machete is useless. So, I think, I'm gonna stand and go for a Rapid Spin, because I'm guessing he's gonna, I just can't risk it. Yeah, because I'm, th I'm pretty sure he was gonna go for Stealth Rocks, expecting me to just go for Rock Blast or something, just to do some damage to this thing, so that's great. So what I'm doing is that I'm forcing him to go for a Rock Blast to finish me off, and... Oh wow, we're actually speed tied. That's really weird. I thought we weren't speed tied at all. So I'm what I'm doing is I'm pretty much forcing him to go for a uh, rock blast on me. But now that I think he realizes that we're speed tied, I think he's gonna try to. Oh god, I think I'll just. Ugh, shit. The problem is that I'm afraid what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna outspeed him, go for the rapid spin on nothing. He's gonna set up stealth rocks. And then he's going to die to Toxic, and then he's going to switch out into something that will force me to switch out my Armaldo, which is not what I want to do. I think I'll just stand and go for Rapid Spin. I think that's really my only option. I think that's probably the safest option for me. And he's actually not even going to go for Stealth Rocks. He's just going to kill me off. So that's great, great, great. So I kill off the Golem. He's got no Stealth Rocks. Now Machininja and Scyther are pretty much free to run around, which is really nice. But this is a blind switch in now, and I think... For blind switches, it's probably best if I go into my Rotom because I can definitely scare off anything on his team with my Rotom because Rotom Fridge has really, really nice coverage with ice, uh, with like the bolt beam kind, I guess you can say, with ice and electric. Blizzard is going to hit anything on his team incredibly hard, so I'm free to go for a Blizzard. There's no reason why I shouldn't. And wow, I missed Blizzard on Stantler. That's annoying. But I know I can always speed the Stantler unless he's running Jolly. I don't think he's running Jolly. Wow, he's running Jolly! Sick! So, my, uh, my Rodent dies for no reason. That's just lovely. But, Sykes are just going to come in. I can just go for one easy U-turn KO, for sure. That's going to kill it. And, and now I can go into... <coughs> I think it's probably best if I go into my... Lipard. Because my Lipard can handle, I think, any situation, I think. Because if he goes into Sock... Then I can just go for a substitute, scatter what move he locks himself into, switch accordingly. If he goes into Go Lurk right night, like right now, I can just go for a substitute and see what he's gonna do. Because if he's gonna go for Rock Polish or substitute himself, I can just encore him. So he's pretty much forced me to attack. So I can just scout out what he wants to do. He's gonna go for Dynamic Punch. Oh, that's scary as hell. Uh, I hate this. I think, I think a foul play might be enough to kill him off, because he looks like he's running Max Attack. 
So I, I'm going to go for foul play, and I think that should kill him off. Yeah, it does kill him off. That's really, really good. Uh, that was, I wasn't sure if because... I don't know. Foul plays, like, it's really hard to calculate foul plays damage because its base damage is based off how much your opponent's damage has. So that's really, that's really, really risky, but that was, that paid off. So I'm going to go for Substitute to scout out what he wants to lock himself into. He goes for Stone Edge because he was trying to predict my Shed Ninja switch, which is really good. So, uh, I, I'm going to go into my Roselia because, uh, I just, I need to keep my Lipard for, uh, his other Pokemon. So I'd rather just have Roselia take a few hits or so. And now, I'm just going to go for the easy Giga Drain. Uh, he goes in the Executor, that's fine. I do have Hidden Power Fire, which is really, really convenient. If he decides to put my Rosario to sleep, that's fine. Or I can go for Shy Shock, which I'm also cool with, since uh, I can go into my Scyther and just go for a U-turn, which is really, really convenient, because that's pretty much going to force him to switch out or stay in and powder off his Executor. But he's probably going to switch out into something else like the Sock, who can take it. <coughs> And, um, I can either go into Lipheart or my Shedinja, and I think what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go, what should I do? I think I'm going to go into my Shedinja and go for Shadow Sneak, uh, because, uh, if you go to Stone Edge, I have Focus Sash, which is great, so now I can kill off the Sock, which is really, really convenient for me. So, I still have my Shedinja alive, which is great. Uh, I think the only Pokemon that can hit my Shedinja is probably his Electros. So, uh, but then again, I don't really need Shedinja anymore, since my Scyther can for sure kill off the Executor, no matter what happens. So, I, honestly, why don't I just keep Shedinja in and just do as much damage as I can with x -Scissor? That's actually probably the best option I have, since, um, yeah, he'll, he can just kill me off, that's fine. I can go into my Live Hard. And I'm going to go for the Swagger, because I'm pretty sure a foul play will not kill him off. I actually decided to go for, uh, go into Executor. Interesting. Well, I'll just go for foul play and kill him off. That's fine with me. And now the, uh, this thing is going to come in. But you know what? I'm just not even going to go for Swagger. I'm just going to go for foul play. Uh, even if it doesn't kill him. Oh my god, he's Rest. Are you serious? Uh, he's got Lumberry also. Oh, uh, I did not anticipate this. I think... Oh, I can Encore him to rest. Of course. Okay, the game's in the bag now. He can't do anything. I want it. Yes, that's awesome. Like, this is why en Encore is so ridiculously strong. I, th I don't think he can do anything. Because now I can just go for Swagger. I can go for Substitute. And this is... Now he's locked into rest forever, basically. So I Light Hard wins the game for me. That's really awesome. Because I can just go for Substitute. I can just force him to go that again and then I can just go for like a foul play yeah he's just gonna forfeit because he knows he lost that's great that's great let's check my ranking right now I am at 1236 I think the next match will get me uh let me do the beat the underachiever challenge which is really really nice so I'm gonna go for one more match and hopefully I'll win it and I have done the underachiever challenge with a Shedinja that's really awesome so yeah so you saw last match how he re he like prioritize saving his, like, Electros and his Sock in order to take out my Shedinja. But at that point of the game, like, he, he already lost so many guys trying to save those two that, you know, like, I can just leave my Shedinja to die because I, Shedinja is not meant to, like, sweep on my team at all. Shedinja is just meant to just force a lot of switches. And you saw how many times he switched, like, between his Executor and, like, his Sock and stuff like that. And those spikes in South Rocks were incredibly helpful. So you kind of see how my strategy kind of works a little bit, but you also kind of saw how it's really flawed because of golems and shit and, like, other rock Pokemon that are really, really annoying. Like, I think the only two Pokemon I've had trouble with are, like, golems and other Armaldos. I think are the only two guys that I've had trouble with, but I haven't seen too many Armaldos. I see more golems, but uh, that's not really too concerning for me because, yeah, you saw how, like, I was able to kind of switch around a little bit, and also Roselia is also really nice because I can kind of mind game them and go for, like, Spice instead of going for, like, a grass move, like, Giga Drain or something like that. <coughs> and my Scyther is actually Scarfed because of, like, those, like, socks like those, because even if, like, I was at a really, really bad situation, my Scyther can't outspeed the sock because I'm Jolly and Scarfed, and most socks tend to be Scarfed as well. So I can just go for one, like, Aerial Ace, kill off the sock, 
and that'll be really convenient for me. Plus, Scyther's also really nice just to get Switch Initiative and stuff like that. So, hopefully if we can find a battle soon and not have to wait for so long, oh, uh, we can get things started. <coughs> okay, guys, we just fast-forwarded in time because I just did a battle, but it had really terrible commentary because I didn't really see it much because it was super intense. And I'm at 12.49 right now. So I am one point away from completing the challenge, which is really, really frustrating. So I need to win one more stupid battle. Okay, so here I found a battle. Hopefully, if I win this, then I will have completed the challenge, which is really, really cool. Let's take a look at his team. So, guy's name is Trono. Uh, let's see, he's got a Lipard, Weasel, Sock, Samurott, Kadabra, Am Amoongus. Okay, <coughs> I'm sure his Lipard is the same set as mine, which is really concerning. Uh, so that's not something... We really don't want to risk too much, but he's got, I know Kadabra probably has something to hit me with, probably Shadow Ball. Humungus, I don't think has anything. Maybe Leech Seed, but I doubt it. Floatzel might have Crunch and Sock has Stone Edge. So, I think, yeah, once again, I'm going to lead off with my, uh, I think I'm going to lead off with my Armaldo. Since, actually, I don't think he really has anyone on his team to set up rocks. That's very convenient. Okay. So that, that's really good, that's really good info. So, I think, I'm just going to lead off with Armaldo, because he's going to lead off with a Lipard, and I'm just going to go immediately for Rock Blast. Like, I'm pretty sure this thing is going to go for a Swagger on me, so I, why not go for a Rock Blast? If it goes for a Swagger on me, I'll be able to Rock Blast his ass down. That'll be really, really convenient for me, since I'm not sure if this thing is sashed or not, because mine isn't sashed. So it would be really nice if I can kill off this Lipard, because Lipard is incredibly annoying. Like, I hate going against Lipard, but I love using one, because you have to be lucky. So, hopefully, I will do okay. And, um, yeah, that's some, okay. Let me think for a second. Okay, so, once again, uh, Scyther is going to be a, play a very big role, since I can, uh, kill off his Sock, 100% sure. I can kill off his Kadabra with, like, I can go for, like, a U-turn or something. I can kill off his Amoongus. I'm not sure I can kill off the Amoongus, though. The Mungus is pretty tanky, but Scyther is going to be a very, a very, very helpful Pokemon, so I definitely need to prioritize keeping Scyther alive. I don't, Shedinja is also pretty interesting as well, since I don't think he really has much for my Shedinja. So if I were him, I would probably keep this Lipard alive, since, yeah, because since, like, I think Lipard is a really good Pokemon to use against Shedinja, so if I were him, I would switch out right now. He's actually going to go for Thunder Wave, wow. Interesting. And I get... Four hits on the live part, that's almost going to kill off. He's going to go for Swagger. I know he's going to go for it. Oh, my God. But I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks. And, yeah, that's great. Okay, so I go, went for Stealth Rocks. Got that. And I'm just going to go for Rock Blast. Kill off the light part. Okay, wow. That was a weird light part that I did not anticipate. I really don't need Armaldo since he can't set up rocks. So I really don't mind foddering off Armaldo to rock blast this thing and ooh, he's got bulk up that is not good i do not see bulk up coming uh but however i can go well i can't outspeed ooh i'm gonna go into my rotom fridge and scare him off i'm pretty sure he thinks i'm scarfed so i can just go for the easy volt switch i'm pretty sure he's gonna switch out i don't think he's gonna stay in on me i mean he'd be really retarded if he stayed in i don't think he's gonna stay in he stayed in, that son of a bitch. But um, Crunch didn't kill me off, so that is really good. So one Bolt Switch is going to kill him off, that's great. And since it's a blind switch in... Well, actually, no, let me let me think what I want to send in. I'll send in Scyther, because I can go for U-turn. And he goes in the sock thinking he can outspeed me, but joke's on him. I'm going to outspeed him and go for Aerial Ace. So that's great. I killed off the sock. This is looking really nice for me. So... Sock is dead. He's only got Kadabra, Samurott, and Amoongus left. Samurott's going to come in. Um, I'm going to switch out. I don't know what the Samurott wants to do. And honestly, I think my safest switch is Shedinja. Because I think he's going to go for... I don't know what he's going to go for. So Waterfall does not hit me. Really nice. I'm just going to go... I don't know. I don't think the Samurott can hit me. I don't think it can. I'm just going to go for an X-Scissor. Yeah, the Samurott can't hit me. So he has to switch out, go into Kadabra, kill him off. Uh, with an X-Scissor, break his Focus Sash, and now go for Shadow Sneak. And yeah, he, he lost. He couldn't hit my Shedinja. That's great. So yes! I finally got past 1250! Yes, I did the challenge. Oh, thank God. This is awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. 
So yeah. Wow, that was a really uninteresting battle. I'm sorry. Uh, <coughs> I'm feeling sick and my throat's uh, failing on me. So I'm just going to stop the video right here. Sorry, it's not very interesting. Live narration, stuff like that. It's mostly just to let you guys know I'm back. And tomorrow uh, is definitely going to be something more interesting prepared. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys later. Love you guys. Bye.